What is going on, you wonderful people? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to Creighton TV. So in today's video, I'm just going to show you something real simple that if you didn't know already, Streamlabs OBS for Mac has a new update. And if you haven't updated already, so we're going to uh, talk about that. You can update yours. It's safe to, uh, you know, but let's find out what's new in this update. So let's transition over here to the computer. So I'm going to show you first right here. This is my Mac updater. This is how I update all my apps that is not in the Mac app store or going from there like that. But you see my Streamlabs down here, the installed version, the newest version, 0.23.4 is the new version for Streamlabs OBS on the Mac if you haven't updated yours already. So let's close that out. Now you see I got my Streamlabs open. So a few things have been new that came to Streamlabs OBS on the Mac, not much. Um, you can see my CPU right now. I'm still running 60 FPS and everything else. The only reason why my CPS is high because I got I'm screen recording as I'm doing this video. But I do got a video coming out of how I record and stream at the same time and have low CPU. So stay tuned for that video. I will show you guys mine, how it runs on my MacBook. But right now, what they brought new was, let's see, you know, it's still got the same layout. If you're a prime member of Streamlabs, you know, if you pay for the service, they did add it that to the um, Streamlabs OBS. Not really much. You know, they got, you got the, this is, yeah, this is your prime. Uh, I think this is the dashboard. Yes, that's the dashboard. Settings, what else did they bring? So general, most things right here are still, still the same. They, they did add prime, you know, if you are, if you want to pay for it. Me, I'm not paying for it, so don't have to pay but if you want to sign up that's what it is right there this video is not being sponsored at all twelve dollars a month um, i don't want to pay that right now but stream they did change this outlet so you can have all you know stream because you can stream you know multiple platforms at once if you wanted to so if you stream on facebook you know connect prime everything else um youtube everything else output it's all the same audio Still the same video. There's mine right there. Hotkeys advanced. So what is new really? Just a few little little touch-ups that they added to Streamlabs OBS. You got notifications that they changed that way out. How you can get that. Your parents. You know, you can get other Streamlabs uh, looks if you pay for the Prime. Me, I'm not doing that. So, but they did add, um, you know, remote control. You can control your stream with your phone, iPad, stuff like that. Android, you know, you can do that. But they did add this, virtual webcam. This is just for, like, you know, since we're all staying home, if you want to use Zoom, you can use Zoom right through this. Just install the virtual webcam and bam, go through the walkthrough settings. Me, I don't really care for Zoom, so I don't really use it as much. But it says virtual webcam allows you to display your scenes from, yeah, you guys can all read this conference streamlabs will appear in the webcams yeah so if you want to install that there you go but they added a few new little things as you see right now mine says it lag frames detected but it normally just does that every now and then but they added a few little little, little update things you know it mine's been ever since i updated has been running smoother but stay tuned for my video coming out when i stream and record out there so if you want to be a part of it and be in that video or you know any videos that i do in the future Follow me on my Twitch. I'm gonna send it across, across the screen right now. Follow me on my Twitch. So when that video, when I go live, you know, we will know and you will be a part of that video, upcoming video. So stay tuned for that. But here it is, you know, a few little update when Streamlabs is done. So stay tuned for that. Mine's still running good. I'm still running. If I hit start, I don't want to hit start because then the music start playing. But I still have everything running uh, just as well. So if you did like this video, if you haven't updated your uh, Streamlabs OBS yet for Mac, Go ahead and update. I'll leave the links down below um, to everything that I use, uh, all the install links. If you still need the NDI source, you need the updated NDI source and stuff like that. So if you didn't uh, enjoy this video, like this video, subscribe if you're new. That's the update. You know, Streamlabs did add a few little things. We're still waiting on the bigger update that have been that they're testing out for you know better for point better performance and other things so it can get it running like uh the original obs so stay tuned for that i'll let you guys know when that update comes out but if you did enjoy this video this is your boy brandon coming to you from creating tv and i'm signing out of here peace follow me on all my social medias links will be down in the description and if you want to be a part of that up, um, my upcoming video and be in it follow me on twitter god bless you